The ANC continues to gamble with the future of South Africa. It's not enough that their domestic policies and corruption have wreaked havoc in the country. They now seem determined to bet the future of the nation on ridiculous foreign policy and their childish obsession with Putin. The American ambassador, Ruben Brigadi, claimed that South Africa has sold weapons and ammunition to the Russians. The arming of Russia by South Africa with the vessel that landed in Simonstown is fundamentally unacceptable. We are confident that weapons were loaded onto that vessel, and I would bet my life on the accuracy of that assertion. When DA leader John Stiernazen asked Ramaphosa about the allegations, the president did what he does best, insult the intelligence of South Africans and kick the can down the road. We are all aware of the news that we all became aware of, of uh, Lady R, and that whole matter, Honorable Stian Hazen, is being looked into. It's being, no, it isn't. It's being looked into. And uh, whilst the process continues, I want you to allow that process to continue to reach its fruition. I know that you are so keen you are so keen and you are so interested in knowing exactly what happened. The matter, yes, the matter is being looked into and uh, in time, in time we'll be able to speak about it. Ramaphosa has now promised to set up another commission of inquiry into the matter. But what for? Either you sold weapons to the Russians or you didn't. Answering this question does not take a multi-million rand investigation. The president can feign ignorance and anger as much as he wants. Still, it's not possible for weapons and ammunition to get onto a foreign ship at a military-controlled naval base without the government knowing about it. Or perhaps it is, considering that private planes can land on military bases and criminals can walk out of prison, anything is possible in this country. But that still means that either the president has no control over what his ministers and military do, in which case he is incompetent, or he is complicit. So what is the big deal about South Africa selling weapons to the Russians? Surely, South Africa can trade with whoever it wants as a sovereign nation. However, the country has claimed to be neutral in the war between Russia and Ukraine. Selling weapons to the Russians proves that South Africa is in fact not neutral, but instead supporting Russia. Our officials reiterated our respect for South Africa's policy of neutrality and non-alignment in international affairs. And yet they noted a series of issues which suggest that in practice, the government of South Africa is in fact not not aligned. This standpoint will put the country at odds with the US and the West. As a sovereign nation, South Africa has free will, but like any person with free will, actions have consequences. You cannot do whatever you want and expect no repercussions from your actions. And the ANC's choice to align with Russia will have devastating consequences for everyone in South Africa. By Friday morning, the rand had already slumped to a record low of 19 rand 47 against the dollar. So expect everything, including petrol, to cost more, courtesy of the ANC. Both trade and foreign investment from the US far outweighs that from Russia. Tourism income from the US is also far more significant than that from Russia. So from an economic perspective, it makes no sense to side with Russia and risk damaging our trade relations with America and the West. Uh, of course, South Africa is free to um, choose 
um, its diplomatic and economic partners however it chooses. And so is the United States of America. This is not a matter of bullying, as I often hear in this context. It's not a matter of threatening. This is how any relationship works. We also risk losing our membership to AGOA, the African Growth and Opportunities Act. AGOA allows us to export thousands of products duty-free to the U.S. and earns the country billions of dollars each year. In the existing legislation for AGOA, there is already a requirement that no recipient of AGOA privileges should take actions that are directly in contrast to the national security interests of the United States of America. People on social media have also claimed that the report is false because South Africa doesn't have weapons and ammunition to export. This stupidity was echoed by the country's clown-in-chief, Julius Malema. There's no one with such capacity in South Africa who can supply Russia with weapons. If anything, it is the other way around. This is not true. While the industry is in decline, South Africa does have a long history of manufacturing and exporting arms. Our weapons industry was kick-started during the Second World War. South Africa went on to supply 45% of all the 303 rifle rounds that were used by the Allied forces during the war, a total of 768 million rounds. That's enough to shoot everyone that died in the Second World War 15 times. At least on that occasion, we were on the right side of history. But we will have a lot of explaining to do when our bullets start killing innocent Ukrainians. From nuclear build deals to power ships threatening to leave the ICC and now weapons, the ANC is determined to make deals with the Russians that will harm the country. The ANC's love affair with Russia is not in the best interests of South Africa as a whole. So why does the ANC insist on fostering it? Their one justification is that Russia was an ally of the ANC during apartheid. However, that was not because Russia cared, but because they wanted South Africa to become a communist state. In fact, the Western sanctions placed on the apartheid government played a far more significant role in dismantling the apartheid regime than the Russians did by training ANC operatives. It was Western sanctions that brought the apartheid government to the brink of collapse. So suppose the alliance with Russia is not in the best interest of the country. In that case, it must be benefiting somebody else, which only leaves the politicians. The ANC politicians are selling the future of South Africa to the Russians to line their own pockets. We must wonder how much did ANC leaders earn for supplying a war criminal with weapons? Feigning ignorance is not going to help Ramaphosa get out of this. The ANC can shield him from the consequences of hiding money in his couch, but they cannot shield the country from the results of trading arms with the Russians. Unfortunately, all South Africans will bear the cost of the ANC's foolish and selfish behavior. Once again, the ANC has played Russian roulette with our nation's future.